Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's Mama Brooke here. My garden cleaning up and I have a bit of a dilemma. Um, I want to go away, so I'm trying to figure it away because my plants take tons of water. So, as beautiful as they all are, they're very big and lush and the gardens came in amazing. I bought these and then you just add a water bottle to it and a spike, but it's slow release and it's not working. So that bottle's been sitting there for two days and that's how much water's came out of it. So obviously that's not working. So I don't think they're any good for outdoor plants. Maybe for indoor plants, they work really well, but they don't work for out here. So I'm trying to come up with a way to water my plants because when I'm going away, it's a long weekend and everybody's going away, it's a long weekend. So I have no one to water my plants. Anybody have any suggestions how to do this? Irrigation system's not happening. This is on the upper terrace. The ones down below, I can totally fill up water and soak the crap out of them and they're fine. I can soak these ones and then have to soak them again at night. So it's not gonna happen, right? And I don't want everything to die. I worked my butt off growing this. I grew most of it from seed. So <laughs> I need some help. Yeah. Any suggestions? Please comment if you have a suggestion for this. I don't know what else to do. I bought those glass balls. Or actually, I didn't buy them. My friend gave me some glass balls. They drain in one day. Or they drain in like an hour and then the plant's not. Uh, watered. My plants need watered every single morning and the morning glories need watered probably twice a day. Not all of them, but um, the vegetable ones only need once a day. And I got tons of tomatoes coming in and that. I don't mind leaving them for two days, but I don't want them all to die. You know what I mean? So, oh, I got some uh, little, uh, this is amazing. I'm so excited. You don't even know. I have my first bud buds i should say coming and this is on the morning glories and the best thing about this they're double they're double flowers so that's going to be beautiful when they come in but anyways if you have a suggestion on the the watering situation let me know please i'd really really need some help there um i go out every morning and i pluck probably a bag and i'm not even joking there you go a bag every day from this garden um, and then once a week, I do a huge cutback. But so the ones in the house, they're all great. All my plants in here, they're perfect. They can all be watered once a week and they grow great. But you got to remember, these ones are outside. So a little different situation. I'm full sun up here. So it's getting a lot more difficult than it is um, for out front. They're easy too. I can water the crap out of them and walk away. Anyways, I need some help if someone has a suggestion. So I've been putting off going to clean out um, all the stuff I've been hoarding for decor outside. So I do Christmas, Halloween, Easter, all that. Every occasion I decorate the front of the house. I don't go like nuts, like National Lampoon nuts or anything, but I'm starting to get quite the hoard. So I'm gonna go clean out the laundry room and I've made an excuse every single time. Oh, it's raining, oh, it's... Uh, uh, too, it's too hot. You know, it's always an excuse. So I am going to go do this, get it done today. So if you want to follow along, that's what I'm doing today. So please make a comment though about the watering situation and I'm not putting irrigation in, so that's not even happening. So don't comment about that. And I can't come up with anything else, but if you have an idea, let me know. I've tried mulch. I've tried peat moss. I've tried it all. It's not working. Container gardening is very, very, very thirsty because the soil itself, if it's outside, it, you know, has enough soil to absorb and get the nutrients from something else. But in containers, it don't, doesn't. And my plants are huge, huge. And I have big containers. It doesn't matter. They're just, they're gigantic. They're like growing like crazy. I love it to death. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining. I love my terrace. You guys know I post it all the time. Don't think I'm going to do it next year, though, because this summer I have been housebound and I'm not working this summer. I could have done a lot of great things, but it's been stopping me from doing them. I went up north, spent 22 hours, I think, and came home to dead plants almost. Not cool. So um, I was going to ask the tenant downstairs, but I think they're going away, too. 
So, and I don't know what else I can do. The other two people that I thought of asking, they're going away. So I'm kind of stuck, but we'll see what happens. I really, really, really want to go. My daughter, uh, I want to spend as much time as I can with her. She's going to be busy while she's here in Toronto. All of us together. She has the best in-laws in the world. Her son, my son-in-law is amazing. His family's amazing. So it's nice that we can all hang out and we all get along really well. So that's really nice. But we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's get busy and go clean up the laundry. No more excuses. <laughs> so this is the mess I got to clean up. I made a sign a year ago. Mm -hmm. It could use a paint job down here. I'm not too concerned about it. I just want to clean up that whole corner. I'm going to get rid of some stuff. I'm going to actually sort it by uh, season. Like the next one will be obviously fall and then it will go into Christmas and then it'll go into Easter and I'm just going to try to sort it like that. Do my best to do that. The house looks great when I do it all up. It's just getting it all done. Okay, I need to clean underneath everything, so I'm just going to actually move sides so that it's all kind of condensed on the same side as the washer and dryer. I'd love to paint down here, but I'm not doing it this year, so um, I'd like to also put in a new floor, but won't be this year. So a good cleanup will help, though, and... I still got the whole other side to do there. A lot of that stuff was tenants leaving stuff in here and I just got to get rid of it. Now this hall here that I have, it's, I got so much stuff. When everything was closed down for like six months, they opened up the store. I think it opened up for eight or nine days around Christmas time. And then it closed again. So they had all that decor left over. So um, the day it opened, and then it opened again for 10 days, and then they closed it again. But in between that time, I got a huge haul from um, HomeSense. I got stuff like paper for 30 cents, uh, twigs that were like, you know what I mean, with pine cones and all that stuff that was, you know, 15, 16 bucks. And I got it for a dollar, dollar fifty, dollar seventy. Right, all the pine cones were, I think, fourteen ninety nine, and I got three bunches of them. And then the red sprigs were twelve ninety nine. I got two of them, and I got them for I, I believe, dollar seventy. Like you couldn't go wrong. I spent like no money. I got my girlfriend Rose some stuff for her wrapping paper for the granddaughter. I got her husband Christmas cards. I think they were twelve dollars on for a buck fifty or two bucks or something really cheap. Because he, he loves sending Christmas cards. So, anyways, I just grabbed a bunch of stuff that I could. So, I'm getting this clean. And, um, yeah. <laughs> all good. It's all in one corner now. And I got a big space there now. I'm not going to hoard any more stuff. This is all outdoor decor. So this is another haul that I got from the Home Sense. So the white sprigs, I think I paid 70 cents each for them. Something ridiculous. Anyways, like in the, you know, the regular like 15 bucks, 20 bucks, right? So I can use those for um, Easter. I can use them at Christmas. I can double duty those ones for sure. But anyways, I'm going to get this all cleaned up and all done, and then I'll wash the washer and dryer down. I'm going to pull them out, clean underneath them, and uh, get everything organized. And I'll show you as I go along how I decorate the front of the house for each season, too. I'll show you all that. So, this is, um, these are really nice. They got like little icicles on it. They're going to look great in the urns in the front. Really good. I think I paid a dollar twenty-five or dollar seventy, and I got two of them. I found one, and then I was going through the store, and someone else had another one sitting on a shelf. So I was very happy for that find. And I got some birch, uh, little um, wood things that I'm going to use. The only thing I need to buy are some, you know, the foam that you, floors foam, I guess it's called. I need to buy some of that to put in the urns so I can decorate them. 
This is all Easter stuff. And then the white things that I have there that I can double duty on, I, can, I have little eggs I can hang all over them. It'll look really cute. So I'm going to try to get it really organized, seasonal, and condensed. And I'm going to get rid of some stuff too. I don't need, I don't even know why I do all this. I really don't. I don't know why I I decorate the whole house up and everything. Um, I, I just love how it looks, right? But anyways, just wrap all this up so it, that's got to sit till the spring. I'm actually going to get a plastic bag and put it in over top. I'll get a garbage bag and stick it over top of everything after. Yeah. This was work, and it's dirty work down here. Just stuff just sitting and sitting and sitting, right? So, But I got it all organized, all into condensed into one little corner. And then I'll do the other end of the laundry room. It's actually a big laundry room. It could be really nice. I'd like to take my upper kitchen cupboards out and put them up down here. And I share this laundry room with the, the tenant on in the basement. The one on the main floor has their own um, laundry. And uh, they have a two bed, one and a half bath and laundry on the main floor. I'm in a one bed up here. And um, the girl downstairs, she has like a studio slash uh, one bedroom. I guess, it, what do you call it, junior one bedroom? I guess that's what you call it, yeah. Because she's got doors on her bedroom. And the paper, I paid like nothing for this paper, like nothing. Cheap, 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 cheap. I think 70 cents for one and the other one was $1.50 or something. Really pretty too. I got no place to store it upstairs whatsoever. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I don't need to buy anything. I even have lights I can use. So, sorry about the camera there. Okay, I'm just going to give it another quick sweep. Um, I got sparkles everywhere. Keep moving this back and forth, back and forth. Wash all the uh, washer and dryer down. I have this stuff I have to get rid of. I have some table legs that I have underneath there that I want to make a big table with eventually. And little Boo Boo from the UK um, was up in her bedroom in her pajamas in bed with red lipstick on. And her mom asked her what she was doing, and she was making me a video to attach to this to tell you guys to like and subscribe. Oh, she's such a little buttercup. Well, thanks for following. I'll let Jade finish here. Take care, everybody. Hi, guys. This is a short video. Just please like and subscribe to Mama Brooke. Please, just please. She is the best YouTuber, literally. I love her till I die. She's the best YouTuber. So like and subscribe to Mama Brooke. Hit that notification bell. Bye.